I'm going to show you a hack. Instead of me going out and buying a lathe, I have a big drill press that I double as a lathe. So it only takes up a little bit of shop space, no second tool, and of course it doesn't work on everything, but for rebuilding starters and alternators, it works really great. So I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, I got my armature right here. I'm going to feed it up through the bottom hole. Basically, the uh, plate, I've expanded out my chuck quite a bit. And we'll go right up into the chuck. Go ahead and tighten it down. Tighten it up. Right there, I've got a lathe. And I'm spinning the armature. Okay, so you can see right here, this is the commentator that I need to sand down. And I got me a piece of sandpaper in my hand. Okay, so hopefully you can see that really good. I will expand this up a little bit more just so you can see the end where the commentator is. I'll go ahead and turn on the, the drill press. I'm going to take this piece of sandpaper, go behind it, and then start sanding. Flip the sandpaper over. All right, I just checked it and now I'm going to sand it down some more. Let's see if I can get the camera down slightly more so you can get a better view of it. Now, I would suggest you putting gloves on just in case the sandpaper grabs your finger and tries to smash it. I like this method way better than using a file. It just, uh, it just makes the job look a whole lot better. Alright, let's go ahead and shut it off. Now this might not work for you, but it works for me. And you can see how nice and shiny that is. Got a nice smooth surface to it. And so now we'll be able to take this, put it back in the starter. But that is your drill press lathe hack. As usual, your results may be different than my results. But anyways, thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching, everyone.